So it's post time for race number 10 in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate and back upstairs for the race call. Here's Vance Cameron. Booyah, yeah. Casey Starlight can't stop the lovin' saltwater storm. The real princess, J.J. Scarlet, Tobin's diva. Top of the stretch. Talk about gold. Gold division, $13,800 purse post time. The rough and pacing the real princess and boo ya ya are leaving out. Casey Starlight is the third one around the turn to get away fourth. Can't stop the lovin'. Then fifth is Saltwater Storm. Then it's JJ Scarlet Six and the trailer is Tobin's Diva. A little brew ha ha here in a gold division of the PEI Cold Stage. Wow, they're sitting up. Here comes the real princess to clear the lead. Boo ya ya. Wow, he took her on. Well off the leader, third. KC Starlight 20. Seven and one opened it up. Boom! Just like that. The real princess with the streak on the line, the leader. Booyah yah stretched her out. She's in the two hole. KC Starlight closes up third. Can't stop the love and fourth. Then in fifth, Saltwater Storm. JJ Scarlet is six. Trailing the field seventh. Tobin's Diva halfway home. 56. And two into the paddock turn for the second time they go. Rolling over to 5 H, led by the real princess. Second boo ya ya. There goes KC Starlight on the move in the outside third. Can't stop the loving fourth. JJ Scarlet on the outside fifth. Now six is Tobin's Diva trailing the field. Saltwater Storm, three quarters in the books, one. 26 and 1. The real princess has opened up clear by three eighths of a mile out. KC Starlight is second. Booyah, ya third. Can't stop the love and fourth. Down the stretch she comes. And she is the real princess. Give her 12 in a row. In line to Corey McPherson in the PEI Cold Stakes. Second is KC Starlight. Can't stop the love in third. Time for the mile one. 54 and a one. Well, here's a look at the Universal Media Slow Mo, uh, Peter, for race number 10 tonight. The real Princess and Corey McPherson. They weren't taking any seats tonight. They had it by three at the top of the lane, and she just looks awesome. You know what? She got stung early, too, tonight. 27 and 1. Booyah, yeah. Did not want to give her an easy lead here tonight. So, like Ben said, stretched uh, the real Princess out here tonight. But Corey did get front, past that snappy opening split, 27 and 1. 56 and 2. It was still the real princess as they swung to the backside. 126 and 1. Out come Casey Starlight. Going to try to track her down late, but can't do it as she's there and home again. 154 and 1. Yeah, tip your hat to her because it was a snappy early on. She got past it and right down the road again to win. 12 in a row for the real princess in the winner's circle next. Well, there's one thing I know for sure. There's coffee and donuts on the back stretch at uh, Kensington Raceway tomorrow morning. Here comes the real princess into the 10th race 
Winner's Circle. Bay facing Philly, the three-year-old daughter of Source of Pride, is off the Art Major Dam devilishly good. Only Eddie Doucette, Blaine Tebow, Gordon McLeod, and Grant Mann. The Philly bred by Blaine Tebow of Kensington. She's trained by Eddie Doucette. She's driven to victory by Corey McPherson. She's perfect in her three-year role season. 12 starts, 12 winner's circle appearances. Tonight, she's never been better than she was. New record, 154-1. and one. The real princess in the PEI Cold Stakes. Now, the official results here in the 10th race, Booyah Yah fifth. KC Starlight was second. Can't Stop the Love in third. Saltwater Storm seventh. The Real Princess, the race winner. JJ Scarlet was sixth. Tobin's Diva finished fourth. Fractions up 27 and one. 56 and two. 126 and one. And the mile in 154 and one. In review, it's five, two, three. 7164. The Real Princess at 210. The Superfacta paid 2057. The Exactor was valued at 850.